Hey guys, welcome to ASP.NET MVC5 with Entity Framework. In this lesson, we will be discussing about Entity Framework Database First approach. In the Database First approach, we are creating the Entity Framework from an existing database. We use all other functionality like root operations or model databasing and code generations the same way we used in the model first approach so let's go to the visual studio and let's create the database first okay all right so go to the database and i want to create a new database for this project let's say uh, database name is ef database first All right okay so our database is now created after that we press the database okay database first then I want to create table mm, let's say ID or department ID integer and the department ID is identity column then department name that's a name butcher okay so department ID is a primary key and save department then I want to create another table which is let's say EMP ID or employee ID or simply ID adds integer and it is also a identity column okay and primary key also employee name let's say first name last name then address then what then department id okay all right save as employee so our table is now created now we can make the relationship so new database diagram and we can add the table here then what we can do is we can make a relationship for example department ID is a foreign key in the employee table as you can see department ID and department ID in the employee okay create when you can add the insert update specifications and for now I'm just keeping as default all right so our database is now created now what we can do is we have to go to the Visual Studio create a new project and I want to give the project name as EF database first okay MVC all right so our project is now created then right click in the project add new item in the new item what you have to do is you have to select the first of all you can select visual c sharp or code then you can select adio.net data model i mean entity data model let's say this is employee model add 
and we are going to create from database so generate from database now we have to specify the our database so new connection the new connection specify the server name in my case my server name is my computer name because my database in my computer so if your database is located in another computer I mean in the server so you have to mention the server name here on that case you have to use SQL server authentication so I'm going to select my table database name EF database first test connection succeeded okay then what I can do is database first and it is okay or you can even change the name I'm just keeping as it is then you have to select the tables so um, I have in this project I have two tables one is department another one is employee I'm selecting that table I can even change the model namespace then finish after that entity framework will create the EDMX file with these two uh, entities I mean department and employee let's see all right as you can see our EDMX file is generated an entity department employee and it has a relationship one to many one to many relationship okay all right you can even look at here double click on the relationship then you can see department ID is a primary key uh, I mean principal key and dependent department ID also in the department you see principal this is the principal table principal key uh, dependent table employee department key here okay if you need to specify you can you can change it here all right so our EDMX file is created save it then we can start our coding I mean we can add our controller for the employee or even you can add the controller for department okay so let's go to the controller as you can see this is our EDMX file and it is created our context so you can locate our context which is the context name and it is added these two entities here as a DB set okay and this is our entity context name so if you look at, at the web config file you can see that EF database first entities as a connection string name okay and what have we we have other which is department entity I mean department class and employee class so in the department class we have a list of employees because one to many relationships department with employee that's why department has a list of employees a list of employees means it might be zero or many okay now go to the controller and create the controller let's say you can create a controller for example employee or department DEPT or DEPRT MNT whatever you want and in the controller we can add create method I mean create action or index action let's first display all the department in the index view okay so we can pass the list of department so what we need to do is we need to add EF database first entities that's a DB 
so what we can do is we can pass the list of department to the view okay now we can create the view add view this will display list and model is our department we have db context and we have a master layout then add and you are already familiar with this scenario so you can create by yourself try rebuilding the project first of all actually we have to build the project then we can add the view so if you have this problem first of all build the project then try to add the view so action list department f and so on then add right so it is it has a list of department here and it is displaying all the department name okay so this is for the displaying the I mean list of department now what we can do we can create one more action which is for create so in the create we have to pass we have to pass new department as a model and this is basically http get method and as you can see I didn't didn't mention any method here but by default this is the get method similarly I have to create one more method for post which is HTTP post public action result create and I have to have a department object here then if model state is valid then we have to do something else what we can do we can return to the view with that non valid model okay so what we can do db dot department dot add add the department then we can save the changes if you don't add this command database will not be stored the department model then we can redirect redirect to action which action index okay all right then we can run the oh what we have to do is we have to create our view create view so right click in a create, create view I mean create action then select create template with model department everything is ok net alright so our view is now created uh, in this case I want to mention one thing if you are not familiar with the bootstrap classes don't worry I will have another series of tutorial I mean another course only for bootstrap with responsive design so don't worry you will get it now run in, in Google Chrome first of all I want to go to the index you will see our list of departments but for this I mean 
at this moment we do not have any department so it will be empty you can see this is empty so what we can do is we can create we can click this one create new so it will create a new department I mean it will display the create view so we can insert the data for the um, department okay so let's say department is computer science create after creating then after after saving the data into the database it will redirect to the index so this is our index then let's say what um distance education okay so everything is fine so in this tutorial even I mean in this tutorial you have learned the database first approach so we can go to the department and you can see yep computer science distance education all right so I hope you are happy now because at this moment you are you are you have learned code first database approach model first and database first approach okay so in the next tutorial of series you will be learned a lot of things so keep learning and stay well thank you